Welcome to vlog number three of the best blogger in the planet Earth. Here we have the Prophet Ezekiel. Nabi Allah Adul Kifil is from 599 before Jesus Christ. And that's where the Nabuchod Nusar brought the Prophet of the Jews from Palestine. And he kidnapped a lot of Jews and brought them all here. And this is where he was buried. I'm going to show you now. Like, we're going to go and walk inside into here. And we're going to show you the beauty of this place. And the minarets here are also very old, but it's been renovated a few times. So we're going to be walking inside and showing you. Until about 70 years ago, until the Zion estate came, that's where the Jews still lived here. And It's also said that Prophet Daniel lived here and now it's become a place of worship for the Muslims because Muslims also believe that he's a prophet and slowly slowly I'm gonna take you inside As you can see that minaret is a bit bent They have straightened that one And right next to the shrine and the mosque is the Daniel Market. This is the most famous Jewish bazaar in the Al Kifil district, which still bears the name of his Jewish owner who died in the 1920s. It was built in the 19th century by the Iraqi Jewish personality Menachem Saleh Daniel. It's a very beautiful market and it's like built in the form of arches. And it was branching out from several rooms that were like a hostel for the Jewish visitors to the shrine of Prophet Ezekiel. These shops you see on the right and left side cover the old standing columns. The Jews of Iraq constituted one of the largest and most prominent minorities in the Middle East until the middle of the last century when they immigrated to Palestine after the declaration and establishment of Israel. Before their departure, they served the shrine and took care of it as the prophet Ezekiel was considered one of the prophets of the children of Israel. And the Jews used to go to his graves on the days of Jewish Passover and stuff like that. <laughs> How are you brother? Where are you from? I am Hassan. You are Hassan? Hello, Hassan. I'm 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 هاي بيش بيلف عندك مقراضة؟ وي بيش المقراضة؟ بيلف حلو رحم الله والديك والديك الله وياكم أبو السلام وقنا بوتزيس فيش باكين زواطة ها موش ازدا؟ All this fight for 250 dinar. 19 cents. Yes. Crazy. 
Hey, right now I'm in ancient Babylonia with my cousin Sayyid Mustafa. This is in El Kifl. Sayyid, غسلنا غسلنا بعد الماء. خلنا نشوف. This is the River Tigris, and rivers are pure water, so you can drink it, wash your face, do everything. Look at the views there. They're taking water from the actual river, which is on the other side, and blowing it into here. خلنا صور كمان ضاري خطبل سيدنا. دور دور عذاب التسابيران ألا سيد you are now in Cyprus waterfall behind you very beautiful wow hey one day like a couple of years ago me and Sayyid and my little brother we were swimming here but this was still open from this way to the river and the current was pulling me, pulling me, pulling me, and I was swimming, zah, 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 zah. but I got away because I'm a very good. Huh? Jayat Sayyid? Let me show you the river from the other side, actually. It's really nice. The River Tigris. Always level one Muslims, they tell me when I'm at River Tigris, they say, oh, is the river dry yet? Because when it's dry, it's going to be the day of judgment. That's when the guy, you can tell he's been to the mosque first week of his life. He just heard some ahadith, he's coming. Here we got the river Tigris. It's actually kind of dry. I'm not gonna lie. There's a crane in the middle of the river. How are you feeling, sir? Very hot. Very hot today. Do the camera on you, sir. Zemel, Zemel. I'm a good cameraman like that. Why? Why? Huh? شاكو اوه هذا اني حمامات ما ادري من يا شردن ذات سم سبيشال تايب اوف بيرد ذات ا بيرد فروم واو اند هير از سم بونس فوتج 750 ياردز اوت فروم ذا يير 5999 بيفور جيسس كرايست سو 2600 ياردز اوت بروفيت ايزيكيل از بيريد هير ان ذس بليس and that's where the Jews used to live until 70 years ago when the Zionist coming. No way. No. No. Wow! Here we have a waterfall pipe coming out from the water, coming out of the water, going back into the water. This is called Iraqi waterfall. That's crazy. Sayyid, do you like it? Yeah. And because this is River Tigris. This water, I swear to my God, very clean. Oh, I love the fish Oh, I'm fasting. Hey, guess where is me? When you see this, you think this is for Muslims? No, this is Jews. When Nebuchadnezzar, in the year 5099, before Jesus Christ, he stole, kidnapped the Jews and Prophet Ezekiel, and he brings them to Babylonia in Iraq. Here is where he is buried. And the Jews lived here in peace with Muslims until 70 years ago when the Zionism and Satan Yahu make the Zionism stuff. But before that, we had no problem here. I'm gonna take you now to the inside of this place. It's a very beautiful one, I swear to my God. Look here, wow, look these views. Even in your dreams, you cannot see like that stuff. Look from here, we start to see the Jewish writing we enter. This is 750 years out, this building. The last time it was a renovation. And look, I don't know what it says here, but it definitely says stuff like, don't kill the people and don't do stuff, bad stuff. And this is what they call, called the Jews' Manabora. That's the sign of the cup of the Jews. And that's inside here, the green stuff is where the Prophet is buried. And this is old walls.